maybe you can tell us your experience if you don't mind your yeah. <laughs> personal suffering from the start from your first arrest siguro well uh, i was arrested already in uh, uh, the pre martial law period that was mm. upon the sus uh, suspension of the writ of abeas corpus yes. mm. so 1971 we, we were just uh, putting up posters in margina there were four of us students of ateneo and they were pu putting them and then marcos tuta ganun ganun and then, uh, <laughs> and then uh, but then huh. since uh, that was still uh, ay nga pe marshal pa tapos how long uh, were you in so in, that was just overnight okay, okay. but then charge? Wala. Ah, wala. <laughs> they were thinking of uh, filing oh. malicious mischief against oh, us, okay. but they, they, they never actually did. Okay. Hindi naman sa version or sedition pa, or whatever. Hindi pa. Poster Yon pa lang ang nilalagay. Nung, oh. nung uh, martial law na, so that was uh, February 1973, that was my first arrest. Okay? Mm. Uh, there were 13 of us who were uh, arrested in, in house in Quezon City. Ano namang ginagawa niyo? Uh, well, uh, we were involved in the underground movement, of course, uh -huh. or trying to organize students. Uh -huh, and then okay. um, our house was uh, raided, and then we were all brought to uh, uh, Fort uh, Campo Ginaldo, and then interrogation, okay? Uh, mm -hmm. But then, and then after that, we were brought to uh, Fort Bonifacio. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was uh, put in EPIL reception center. That, mm -hmm. uh, it was, that was how it was called. It was supposed to be a, uh, you know, uh, uh, well, a model type of uh, detention center. No, what is a but, model detention yeah, they, center? They even call it reception center. Uh -huh. But then even, the, the, it's supposed to be, okay, you're allowed to visit, uh, uh -huh. uh, visit, then you have relatively better uh, conditions uh -huh. than in other places, in other parts of the archipelago, the food was okay. So, so but even pa within, kayo uh, uh -huh. you know, but even, even then, uh, we were, uh, no, uh, uh, and then the, the, the conditions slowly deteriorated. Sira, sira na yung uh, mga sa, sa kubeta, mga mm -hmm. ganon, and then oh. uh, after that, yung pagkain, it also uh, In the meantime, that. you were charged with what? Nothing. Wala pa rin, the whole <laughs> that was time. One so year. Just, that was one year. So, one year. One year. Oh, no charges. Wow. Okay. And then? Okay. And then the, the third time that I was, was arrested, that was already in Cebu. Okay. What year was this? 76. Okay. okay. And then uh, I was talking with some students in Colegio de San Jose de Coletos, and then suddenly there were two uh, agents of MSU who uh, picked me up and then blindfolded me, and then I didn't know where, where MSU I was brought. MSU is what? Uh, military security unit. That's okay. with the army. Okay? okay. And then so I was brought to the army camp, uh, but I didn't know at that time that it was the army camp. And then they were uh, asking me, uh, I was very new in Cebu. In fact, I had not been there for mm -hmm. one month. So I didn't know how to speak Cebuano and I didn't know too many people. And so they were uh, asking me, okay, uh, okay, they asked your name, etc. And then, mm. where, where do you live? Okay. And I couldn't sort of give the address. Because no, no permanent address. Eh, yun nga. Baka, <laughs> be giving away too much. Mga 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 mahuli. Oh, so, oh, 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 oh. And then, so, yeah, ayan na. Uh, so, ginabita. wait, so you were really subversive? Well, that's the term that they use. <laughs> oh, okay. mm -hmm. oh, sige, tapos. Oh, oh, if arrested we, uh, ka na. We, subvert, we were subverting the dictatorship, fine. Okay. Oh, sige, arrested na. ka na. Ano so, arrested. Ba? So, ayan. Ayan, ano na, yung bugbog. Okay. Suntok, tapos yung dos por dos, pinapalo na oh, wow. rito. Yeah. Tapos yung uh, sinisipa, tapos may electric shock sa You were, sa, you sa, were sa, strip sa naked. And then you I was strip naked, naked and then strip uh -huh. naked, and then blindfolded. Hmm. So, so that hindi ko makita, supposed to be yung sino yung bumubukog yeah, sa akin. Yeah. Pero ang pinaka masakit noon, was yung an yung ina an yung inuntog yung uh, ano sa pader wow oh, okay. yun yun ang, yun hindi ang yung electrocution ginagamit. hindi pa kasi yung sa iba ang ginagamitan yung iniikot sa ano ba yan tapos ginaganon yes. pero tapos, yung sa akin yung sa ano lang sa tinidikit lang ginaganon lang Kasi sabi nila, kung ididikit, eh baka Mawalang... mag, ma, magkaroon ng permanent na, ah, ano, okay. so, okay. yun, ganon. So, ano yun, tuloy-tuloy yun, ang mga, hindi, uh, then, kakausapin ako, uh, hot and cold, eh, no? Parang, di, 
after nung ano na kakausapin hindi ka na sana magsasabi ng ganito kung magsasalita ka lang ano hindi ganyan. nila sa inyo address ka umamin umamin address oh, yes. oh, oh. address okay. Well, okay. Well, okay. Well, okay. Okay. Ano, eh mas grabe pa yung sa iba pero sa akin oh, yeah. ayun ganyan ito mas grabe talaga yes. yeah. ito uh, uh, ang tapos nung alas dos ng umaga katuloy ano yan ayun na nag nagtagisipan ko ng ano gumawa na lang ng ano so Manaalala ko yung pangalan ng isang street sa ano, uh, Yakusalim. Tapos nag na lang ako ng address, ng number. Ah. Tapos sinabayan ko ng iyak. Ah. Yung bang parang nag-breakdown na, na daw ko. Oh. But that, was that real or Udere, you were just <laughs> They did not. They did not. Parang I hate to betray my comrades. They did not pick up. Hindi. Tapos, they did not pick up the wrong people? Hindi naman. Ang ginawa nila, sinurveillance nila yung lugar. Okay? And then after that, bilalik ka na ako after two days, sabi ko, Nakulagot. Kaya may gano'n sa amin. Na, ano yung binigay mo sa amin? Ano yun? Opisina ng Betista, sabi ko.